Hey guys, today we're going to walk through the steps to update the firmware on Reolinx Network Video Recorder model RLN8 410-E. I'll show you how that's done through the various user interfaces. As you have probably already seen on my channel, this is a 4K system with eight ports on the back where I can connect and power up to eight security cameras. This is a security camera system in a box and I've already reviewed its features, demonstrated the initial setup and configured the NVR. I've also installed the cameras outdoors. Today we are going to review how to update the NVR's firmware through the multiple user interfaces available. We'll look at the mobile app, the Reolink desktop client, the web user interface, and of course, through the NVR directly. The first step is to verify your NVR's model number, hardware version, and the current firmware. This is important because installing the wrong firmware on your system can damage it. Even if you think you know what model you have, do look it up. To do this using the mobile app, open up the app and click on the gear icon in the upper right. Then click on the NVR on the top of the screen. Here we have the model number RLN8 410-E. The hardware version is H3MB16. And for the current firmware, I have 2.0.0.249 and a string of numbers. Using the PC client app, click the gear icon and open the settings. Navigate down to System NVR Info. The model number is here. The hardware number is here, followed by the firmware version. Next, we're going to log into the NVR's web user interface using Chrome. I found the NVR's IP address in the mobile app. Once you're logged in, click the gear icon and go to System, then Information. Here we have the model, hardware number, and lastly, the firmware. Lastly, we're going to log into the NVR directly through the main menu. Click System, then System Information, and then the information will be displayed right here. Now that we have the NVR's model number and current firmware, let's download the latest version. Yes, we need to download the firmware from the Reolink website and then upload it to the NVR. I wish there was a simple upgrade button on the user interface where we could just click it and then have the firmware automatically downloaded and install it for us. But for now, we have to figure this out for ourselves. So here on the Reolink website, I can find the most common equipment by going to support and then download center. I'll try to find my NVR here under POE, IP cameras and NVRs. When I scroll down, this is model number RLN8-410, but mine has an E on the end. These two hardware versions don't match mine, and the firmware cannot be found here. And this is why we needed to know the model number before reaching this point, because I would have gone ahead and downloaded the wrong version. To find additional NVR models, including mine, Reolink has those placed under Support, and then Support Center. Click the Firmware and User Manual Download link. To see all the updates, click on Show More. The layout here, as you can tell, is terrible. There is no organization whatsoever. The easiest way to find your hardware is by opening up the Find feature and pasting in your model number. I see two options, one of them from December 2020 and the other one from April 2020. The one I want is obviously the later one, but the hardware numbers on the end don't match mine. But don't worry, when you click on this link, we'll find the hardware inside. Okay, perfect. I found my model number and the hardware version, so I guess this is the link. Once again, there's a bit of confusion here. How do I know that I need this upgrade? My current version is this, so here's how to figure it out. On my current firmware, I have 20011608 and so on. This is not the same as my build number, but it's close. It actually looks like my build number is part of this, but it's been cut off and rounded up from 608 to 61. Anyways, when I compare the current firmware number after the underscore, the version on the website is greater and therefore it's more recent. Yes, it's more complicated than it needs to be. So let's click on the link and start the download. With the file downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and save it to a folder on my PC's desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open up the zip file where the firmware pack file is located. 
I'll put a copy here at the same level as the zip so I don't have to dig for it later. I'll also put a copy on my USB stick so I can drop it onto the NVR directly when demonstrating how to do the upgrade from the NVR itself. To perform the upgrade using the Reolink computer app, open the app and click the gear icon to the right of your NVR's name. Go down to System Maintenance, find the section for Firmware Upgrade, and select the pack file that we just downloaded. The checkbox for Update Config File resets your NVR back to defaults. It's not intuitive, and don't select this unless you want to lose all of your settings and possibly your mind, because it probably took you a lot of time and effort to get everything set up to this point. We're going to kick off the update by selecting Upgrade, I'll fast forward through this section right here while it's updating. Okay, so it's done. The process took about two minutes. So let's go back and ensure that the upgrade was successful. And here you can see the numbers have changed and they're what we expect, so perfect. Before we jump into the next example, I've downgraded the firmware to what it was before. So yeah, the NVR allows you to upgrade or downgrade as long as you have the pack file. Next, if you're using your computer's web browser like Chrome, you can perform the NVR upgrade right here. Again, using the NVR's IP address, log into the user interface. Click the gear icon in the upper right, select System on the left hand side, then Maintenance. Click the text box to open the dialog where you can select the pack file. Again, don't select the option below unless you want to reset your NVR back to factory defaults. Let's carry on by clicking the upgrade and fast forward again for about two minutes. Let's go back to ensure that the upgrade was successful. This firmware removes the requirement for flash in the browser to view the camera's footage. But as you can tell, the flash logo is still being displayed. And when I click on the gear icon, I get a message that the firmware is upgraded. So what's happening here is Chrome has cached some of the web user interface and we need to reload the entire site. To do this, click Shift and then F5. Now I'll be forced to log back in to the user interface where I'll see the camera's live feed without the use of flash. Back here on system information to verify and yes, I can see that the firmware has been updated. I've gone ahead and I downgraded the firmware just so we can update it again here using the NVR itself. I'll drop a USB flash drive into the port on the front of the machine and now we'll go to the main menu and system maintenance. Click on the button to upgrade the firmware from a USB drive. So here's the firmware file. Up above, deselect the option to reset the NVR back to factory defaults. This is selected by default and I'll definitely be unselecting this because I don't want to lose all of my settings. Click upgrade, click OK on the warning message and this time the upgrade only took about 30 seconds, much faster than the other methods we just saw. Let's go in and verify that the upgrade was successful. And yes, the new version is here. Perfect. All right, guys, that wraps up the steps involved in upgrading the firmware on my Reolink RLN8 410E and VR using the PC client, web browser, and through the NVR directly itself. I'd like to see the process more streamlined in the future where the system regularly checks for updates automatically. I also think that the wording for update configuration file is confusing and misleading, especially with the impacts where it resets the system back to factory defaults. I hope this information helps you find your firmware updates and also helps in the steps to getting it installed successfully. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.